Hello, Internet. How are you today? Uh, I'm a little bored in the quarantine, as I'm sure many of you are. And uh, I was I was going through some old hard drives on my computer and, and I found a project from like 15 years ago that, uh, that never saw the light of day. And I thought, hey, I was also watching the, the uh, <laughs> amazing rendition of Imagine that uh, some of our friends from Hollywood uh, put together. Um, and it reminded me of this. So I was like, all right, I got to get this out and, and, and put it out there. Uh, I, was, I used to be a writer um, back in Los Angeles, uh, and I did a lot of uh, nonprofit events. So I was doing fundraisers. And, and I, uh, I did an event for an organization called Heal the Bay back, I think it was 2005. Um, and this one was actually a lot of fun. Um, I got to write speeches and sketches um, for some really talented people whom I admire um, in the film and television and comedy world. And, uh, and one of those, almost, was Martin Short, who is like <laughs> the be all end all of, of idols of mine. So I was so excited and I wrote this, uh, this whole song and was excited to pitch it to him. And for whatever reason, we wound up cutting it and we did, you know, something else. Um, but always in the back of my mind, I was like, oh, dang it, I wanted to at least pitch it to him. So here we are stuck in quarantine and uh, thought I would dust this off and throw it out there. Maybe you'll enjoy it. I had fun with it. Um, and if it ever makes it way, it makes its way to Martin. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you take it in the most sincerest form of flattery. Uh, I just appreciate what you've what you've done in the, in the industry and, and enjoyed you. So this this is a, my little thank you to you. Um, quick backstory, just so you have some context of what what this was. Heal the Bay is uh, an organization here on their website. It says they're an, an environmental nonprofit dedicated to making the coastal waters and watersheds of greater Los Angeles safe, healthy, and clean. So this was the event back in 2005. It was their 20th anniversary at the time. Um, and you'll hear a reference to Dorothy Green, who was the founder of Heal the Bay. And uh, she passed away a few years after this event, unfortunately. Um, so she's no longer with us, but her her passion and her mission and her organization still are. So if you are looking to support um, worthy organizations in in this time of uh, quarantine, please donate to Heal the Bay, help them out. Um, so, anyways, uh, Martin. I think Martin was supposed to present to Dorothy at this event, which was kind of the the point of this. So this is. Again, this is a song I wrote for Martin Short. Picture him singing it a lot better than I can sing it and performing it a lot better than I can perform it. But here you go. Catching the wave. In 1985, some of the biggest names in music were called together to record a song for Africa. Names like Michael, Lionel, Kenny, Martin, no. No, I wasn't called, much to the surprise of the world. Anyways, there were 46 artists, and I have to say that is a lot of screen time to have to share. So tonight it's just me. There was a time when we were all the world. Well, not everybody, just famous people like me. Because celebrities, only we can save the world. And we will. One song at a time I'm catching a wave for you And we're healing the bay As I sing this tune It's been far too long Without your own song So I'm catching a wave for you How's everybody doing tonight? Good, good, you look great. I love your work. You know the work you've had done. Dorothy, Dorothy Green, where are you? Uh, so here we are at Heal the Bay's 20th anniversary. And Dorothy, you don't look a day over 75, but you're still alive and that's what counts. And we all would like to mount you 
our wall to show how loved you are. Sorry, it was parched there. <clears throat> but enough about you. We wouldn't be here tonight without me. Because a cause, a cause is nothing without a star. A star who's admittedly not a big fan of water. But load a wetland, blah, blah, blah. But literally any amount of money over, let's say, $20,000 plus first class flight and accommodations, a car and driver, no more than 15 minutes of prime red carpet time, two seats at the second best table in the room, Big Fish Little Pond, with two to three high B to low A list celebrities, big enough to draw attention but not so big they steal the spotlight, two vegan non-dairy meals, and non-dairy is very important, excuse you, with free range desserts and open bar tab and four backstage passes to meet Hootie from the Blowfish. And that's it. I will travel anywhere in the continental United States for any cause based on availability subject to change with a small non-refundable deposit. That's why I'm catching this wave for you. And I'll be here for about ten more minutes because you pay me to. So enjoy the rest of the show. As I cash my check and go, as I'm catching a way for you. You're welcome, everybody. As I'm catching a way for you. Uh, Dorothy, you know I love you, and I love what you do. Thank you for all your efforts to save this little blue marble we call home. Uh, I'll just go back to the hotel. What time's the VIP party? My mic's still on. There we go. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, if any of you guys out there have uh, have old stuff that uh, that never went anywhere, post it. I'd love to see it. Um, maybe we'll do like a hashtag COVID Vault. You can bust out a, bust stuff out of your vault and uh, and post it on the interwebs. Uh, I think it would be fun to see what people have archived and never touched. And Martin, if you see this, I hope you are healthy and happy and avoiding the virus. Um, and when we all crawl out of the apocalypse after this is over, if you pass through Nashville, give me a call. I'll take you to lunch. Vegan, non-dairy. <laughs>